My name is Brent Baker, and today I will be talking to you about my experience studying abroad in a foreign language without actually being a foreign language major. So I'll begin with uh, just talking a little bit about myself. I'm a 2020 graduate of Juniata College. I am an accounting POE with a secondary emphasis in Spanish, and I studied abroad in Asturias, Spain for nine months. Um, going into college my freshman year, I didn't originally plan on minoring in Spanish, but you know, I took classes in Spanish in high school and I just decided to like take classes as well my freshman year, you know, to get some of like the international credits out of the way. And, you know, I just kind of fell in love with the program, I guess. And um, so yeah, I stuck with it and, you know, kept improving and I eventually incorporated into my PUE. And, um, you know, thinking more about it, I was realizing, you know, this could be just very beneficial for me in my, you know, later on into my into my professional life, like, um, as a as an accountant, um, one thing that I want to do is just, you know, help people out with uh, their financial problems. And I feel like with the addition of another language, I would be able to, you know, kind of reach into other markets and help even more people. So that's one inspiration that, you know, kept me going uh, while studying Spanish. Um, so now I talk about what I actually did while I was abroad. Um, so my program was kind of divided into two semesters that were very different. So the fall semester was kind of just like a regular study abroad. I did a semester at the University of Oviedo. Uh, this is the University of Oviedo right here. I'll try to move this so you can see better. Uh, yeah. And um, it's, as you can see, it's a very pretty campus, beautiful architecture. Um, so yeah, I took you know classes in both English and Spanish there. Um, and then in the spring semester, I did the IFP Asturias program. The IFP stands for the Institute for Field Education. And um, what you do in this program is basically, it's kind of like a full immersion into a culture. Um, you start out you know, with a host family and you take very intense classes every day about you know, the, the region's culture, society, economy, history, things like that. Um, and down here you can see, this is um, a dinner that we had. These are, this is my host family, my host parents. These are some of the professors. That was my advisor. Um, and yeah, one thing that's also really cool about the IFE program is that you also do a credit internship. And I did mine at Metropoli Gijon, which is, a business that kind of it organizes musical events like festivals concerts things like that so one thing that i wanted to do when i was looking for internships was just kind of find something that would like you know get me involved in the community and you know that's definitely i feel like i definitely got that because um you know i was able to not only help plan these events, and um, I also got to attend them for free, which was really cool. Um, also, you know, I was, as an accounting POE, I was also helping with like the financial part of things and also the administrative part of things. It was a small business. This is basically like all of my coworkers in this picture. And, um, but yeah, as, as you can see, it's like, it was a very fun group and I had a lot of, a lot of fun doing it. Um, also, for the IFP internship, you have to write a 30-page research paper in Spanish, which sounds crazy and it kind of is pretty hard, but like at the end, it's just a very rewarding experience. So I would totally recommend it, even though it seems like a lot. Once it's done, it's like, wow, I just did that. Okay. So next we'll move on to why should you study abroad? And I'll just use like 
what I got out of study abroad as, you know, kind of reasons that, you know, this could happen to you as it happened to me. Uh, so versus self-discovery, I definitely learned a whole lot about myself. Um, you know, you have a big opportunity to learn more about yourself and grow as a person. You know, I became a lot more mature whenever I was over there because the first semester I lived on my own. I had to prepare my own meals, you know, just be independent. And um, that really, you know, it makes you grow up a lot. And also, secondly, it helps you professionally. Um, it looks great on a resume. It's a good talking point in a job interview. You can rely on your experiences to, you know, just, you know, kind of make yourself look good. Um, so yeah, those are two pretty big things that I got out of studying abroad. But, you know, everyone's experience is different. And I'm sure that, you know, the benefits are, you know, it's limitless, which you can, which you can discover. And one of my favorite things that I got out of study abroad was all the adventures that I got to do. And surely everyone who studies abroad has their own adventures and their own stories and their own pictures. These are just some of mine. Uh, this is uh, Picos de Europa in the top left corner. That's a national park in Asturias, Spain. Um, that's me right there, walking through along a trail next to a lake. Beautiful mountain landscape. Um, then we have over here, this is the Torre de Belén in Lisbon, Portugal. Very pretty place as well. Down here, another spot in Spain, San Juan de Gastelugache. And then we have Il Duomo, which was in Milan, Italy. And you know, this is just like a fraction of some of the places that I got to go and some of the incredible things that I got to see. So you know, surely everyone who studies abroad, like I said, has just sees you're gonna see incredible things. And you know, memories to like last a lifetime, essentially. And yeah, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you got something out of my presentation.